all right so i'm going to talk about the five lessons that i've learned lessons and principles that i learned from this book and just talk about them a little bit more detail um yeah once again Ikigai you guys a very good book intriguing book um i'm very much interested in practical wisdom you know if there's practical things that i can be doing that will help me in my own personal life and what can we take on and that whenever i read a book i always look for some sort of principle or you know lesson that i can apply into my own life so let's get into it by the way it's my new studio as you can see All right, isn't it? All right. Okay, so let's move on. First lesson. Sorry, you're going to have to bear with me, but in due time, it will definitely be a lot more seamless. So the first lesson that we've got is whatever you do, do not going on there do not retire do not retire lesson number one um yeah so with this book it's very much big on you know the concept of retirement and again the people of okinawa they do not retire they may retire from their you know vocation but they don't retire in life now i'm very much big on you know financial independence and etc there's this um concept of fire f-i-r-e financial um financial independence retire early i believe that's what it stands for off the top of my head and um the word retire means the action or fact of leaving one's job and ceasing to work ironically there's no word in japan that actually means to retire as it as in leaving a workforce many of the japanese when they retire from work they don't retire in life as long as their health permits you know they don't retire in life they make sure that they stay active as i mentioned before they are very much big on their gardening you know so elderly people will go out to their garden tend to their garden it takes a lot of work in order to you know keep your props on point etc and you know again it doesn't matter if you're in your 60s your 80s your 70s your 80s even 90s you know they still keep themselves very much active and they choose to retire at a um so you know people that choose to retire at a younger age i.e you know maybe their early 60s but give themselves nothing to do you know they tend to not live as long as those who continue to have find some form of work whether it be your gardening or you know some community project or etc um you know we need to be challenged as human beings we need to be active we always hear of stories of people you know not losing their minds but getting bored out of their minds uh, because they have nothing to do just sitting at home all day watching the tv it's a lack of purpose in life all right let's move on to the next one so the next lesson 
They live. They live longer than everyone, and they also are much less likely to experience in But yes people if you're tuning in don't forget to like and to subscribe and share it with somebody that this might benefit but yes the next lesson that i got from this was that they live longer than everyone else and they also are much less likely to experience inflammatory or chronic diseases like cancer and diabetes now i don't know about you you know i don't want to get cancer or diabetes but it seems by the research that cancer is on the rise now it's ironic because we have technological advances in the medical industry certain diseases have been almost eradicated because of the technology and we you know we thank god for that but why is it that cancer is on the rise you know why is it that they haven't seemed to found um, a universal cure for or a prevention of cancer and again from what I've read and what I've learned a lot of it's to do with the lifestyle our lifestyles are causing cancer and these inflammatory diseases and once again when we hear about these Okinawan people living you know in their hundreds they have the highest percentage of centurions in the village you know there's some things that we want to take note they're doing something right that's different and again like what the book mentions a sense of community you need to have a sense of community in your life who do you interact with on a daily weekly monthly basis you know what things are you consuming the saying goes you are what you eat and it is very true you know that what kind of environment are you creating within your body that allows the cancerous cells to excel um you know are your foods high in saturated fats you know um all that junk food all that good stuff high in sugar uh, high in uh you know uh, calories etc what is it that you're doing that's causing um cancerous cells to excel so that was the second lesson that i thought was very good the next lesson we're going to talk about is Active minds, active body. So I did mention this with the quotes already, but um, this is a very important lesson for me anyway. It's something that I've been applying personally, and it's important to expose yourself to change, even if it brings it brings a little bit of. Um, even if it brings a little bit of entirety because if you continue to stay stuck in your ways you do things on autopilot and therefore your brain is not challenged and therefore you know that your brain is not working and again use it or lose it your brain is a muscle you know if you don't exercise your brain as a muscle it will get weaker things like learning an instrument that challenge your brain you know having to put yourself in a situation where you don't know something and trying to learn something new trying to learn a new a new chord or a new rift or you know i've recently picked up a bass guitar just for leisurely purpose but again because i read it in a book 
that you know learning an instrument is probably one of the best things that you can do to challenge your brain that's why i picked it up doing things that are reading books again because of this new technological age we don't really read books as much not much is uh, left for the imagination whereas reading a book you know helps you develop your mind because as you're reading your mind is imagining what's happening in the story uh, and also you know maybe getting involved in some sort of mental arithmetic or whatever the case is but it's very important for us to challenge our minds challenge our minds so that you know our minds can get stronger the muscle can get stronger keep the brain working and keep yourself um, sharp keep the mind sharp learn a new skill again as we're watching here live stream animation a new skill that I've learned um, not where I want to be but it's a new skill that I'm learning so that's also another great thing to do take your mind keep sharp all right on to our final two lessons number four overeating can cause your body to go into long into a long digestive process that increases oxidation cellular oxidation so this is a new term that i learned from this book and again that's why it's good to read books you get exposed to new words and new terms so this term cellular oxidation and it says that overeating can cause your body to go into a long digestive process which causes cellular oxidation so again i'm not expert in this but from what i got from the book it says oxidative stress has more harmful properties than helpful ones it can break down cell tissue and cause dna damage this damage can also result in inflammation these factors can lead to a long life long life diseases like diabetes cancer in some cases and you know think of rust you know when um certain materials are exposed to air um, it causes rust um, a good example of that you know i have children uh, they like to you know if, if they take an apple they say they want an apple they'll bite the apple have maybe one or two bites and then they don't want it anymore leave it on the side when you bite an apple and then you know leave it on the side once the air starts getting to it you notice the apple starts going brown the inside of the apple starts going brown because it's been exposed to oxygen and that's why when you have um, an environment within your body um, I think it talks about free radicals in your body this creates the perfect environment for cancerous cells to thrive everyone has cancerous cells in their body it's about the environment within your body that allows those cancerous cells to thrive and again the people of Okinawa eat foods high in antioxidants and antioxidants reduce the amount of movement of free radicals which um, were within your system that can cause damage so again it's very important to eat those foods that are high in antioxidants things like the green tea uh, and it, there's you know a full list of different things that they eat just to balance things out within your body so, and you know overeating another thing that they said in the book is that you know they only eat i think when they feel about 80 percent full so they never eat to the point where they're you know completely bloated completely full um again just so that it gives your digestive system you know a, not a rest but not overwork you don't need to overwork your digestive system which is something another thing that um, ages you quicker when your digestive system has to work overtime and then last but not least the fifth lesson that i got from this book which i found very helpful was um the 10 rules to a kid guy number 10 the 
tenth rule was follow your kigai. So follow your kigai. What you love, what you're good at, what you can be paid for, what the world needs. It's all about finding the right balance in life. Too much of one particular thing will be will bring frustration in another area in some way shape or form and this is something that i've been striving for very much recently this book has helped me with that we need to find balance in life i feel like again you know if you're so much engrossed in your work but then you neglect time for your family whether that be your immediate family or extended family it may cause some form of frustration but then on the flip side if you spend too much time with the family and then you're not earning enough to you know provide for that family that will also bring frustration um you know things that you're good at you know your giftings everyone has a gift everyone is gifted in something if you're not using those gifts that may also bring some form of frustration things that you love things that you're interested in you know i'm very much a big football fan you know make time for those leisurely things that bring you pleasure and joy again if you don't spend enough time give um allowing yourself to in, indulge in the things that you enjoy um that will also bring some form of frustration so ultimately the key lesson here is finding the right balance and it's always hard to get it right we live in times and seasons at some point in time some seasons may not permit for you to have the right balance all the time but you know you should always be striving for right balance in life and yes that is it for today um thank you very much for those that will be watching this video will obviously be loaded um on the youtube channel it feels good to be back it's been more than a minute and once again don't forget to like and subscribe share it to somebody um, that this will benefit Ikigai guys a book that i would definitely recommend about finding purpose regardless of your faith your religion there's so many points that you could take um, from it in terms of finding your your purpose in life there's a lot of practical wisdom in there in terms of making sure that you're a part of a community making sure that you're eating well making sure that you keep your mind sharp and these are the things that will help you to stay forever young so have a good time god bless enjoy your week and until next time thank you very much Thank you.